Guys, how y'all doing? Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm here to do a reading for the sign of Cancer. Um, for the weekend, um, let's see, let's see what the universe has. You know, has any messages that they would like to, you know, um, for me to relate to you. So, how you guys doing this weekend? Um, hopefully, y'all got stuff planned. I know the weather is not supposed to be good in my end, but I don't know how it is in everybody else's area, but I know, you know, it's December, so it's understandable, Sunday will be, um, Sunday will be snowing, um, so I know that's not going to be a pleasant, um, surprise for anybody, but there's some people who really actually like the snow, me personally, no, I don't like the snow, but, yeah, let's, let's get to it. Okay. Those fell out, and that was too many cards, but this one wants to come out. All right. <clears throat> True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. True love. It's a romance of a lifetime. If there's somebody that's storm that's that's stirring up your interest. I wonder. I wonder. Wonder. Okay. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. All right. It looks like you either are in the verge of meeting someone, um, wanting to meet someone, wanting to interact with other people. However, you're still stuck on what happened in the past. And it says codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. You're, it seems as if you or your partner are, are not trying to move forward. It's not your partner, but your past partner. Um, there's a lot of watching. Either you or your person is watching, are uh, constantly keeping tabs on each other. If you guys have a social media um, that you look at after, at Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram... Um, you name it. The person's keeping an eye on you, keeping tabs on you. Either you or the person, whatever it resonates, um, <clears throat> wherever the storyline fits, um, take it. Um, and if you, if you feel like cancer, you've made a decision, a decision abruptly and without thought and now you're retreating what you what went on in the relationship and you're feeling um discouraged to move forward maybe that's something you need to address to this person um because it looks like the person is also waiting for you to make a move um in communication um this is your soulmate. I always, when I when I try to mention soulmates, um, it, it it can mean various of things. You know, you you <clears throat> you could potentially meet someone that you know was everything that felt like it was they were everything to you from the beginning and on, and um, they're there to teach you a lesson. Um, sometimes they're here forever, sometimes they're not. It depends on, you know, where <clears throat> the relationship is heading. If you're making the effort, if the person's making the effort to make it work, um, that's where, you know, where sometimes relationships lie sometimes and their end because no one's making, no, no one's making the effort anymore. People are forgetting the reason why they even fell in love, um, but, you know, you try not to drift too much in depression. Um, I see, like, you know, one of you guys are really saddened about what happened and the loss um, of the relationship. You're wondering what, what part, what role or what part you played into it. You're, and the other person's also worried about the part they played into it. And, um... And that's what keeps the drilling in, in your mind or the person's mind that gosh like what could I have done to save it what could I have done better to to show the person that I was in it you know um 
And I feel like either you or your person made um, impulse decisions that now you are leading to where or now at this moment while everything has marinated and everyone has realized like, damn, I really must have messed up something that was good for me. And you are the person. Um, I feel like someone tried to reconcile. Um, either you or your person tried to reconcile and someone got turned down. And that person that did the turning down is regretting it now. And they're keeping, this is why they're keeping tabs on you. But let's 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 read into this further. You know, um, some people do that. Like <clears throat> they make impulse decisions because they're angry, and then realize like, why did you know? Why did I take it that far? Why did I end things? Now the person doesn't want to be with me. You know, um, it's a lot of scenarios. Um, the universe gave me three cards. Yeah. So the Ace of Wands and the Six of Wands in reverse and the Star in reverse. So. Either one of you guys knew that you manifested and you can manifest a reconciliation. However, it might not end, it might not go as planned. Um, someone still is taking baby steps towards this of wanting to reconcile, but they are still struggling with how to come about. They're wondering, can they actually really fix this? And they're in their mind about this. They're sleepless nights about this. Um, and they're trying to find ways to communicate to the person of why they left and what was hurting them in the first place. The person didn't leave intentionally to hurt the other person. Or, you know, um, but things happen in the midst of rage, um, you know, like I said, when it comes to codependency and um, someone must be drinking or, you know, um, using something too much. And sometimes, to be honest, um, codependency or addiction doesn't have to necessarily mean that the person actually is drinking or smoking or using any type of drug. Excuse me. It can be even fixated of making sure and keeping eyes and tabs on what you're you are the person's constantly doing you know um constantly you got to know what they're doing um who they're with and what are they posting is there any difference in how they're living or anything like that um my thing is what my um suggestion to some people is that if you want to know something ask the source you know, you'll never know until you ask the person. Um, you can continue to go around and go around in circles about what sh what could have happened, what what if. But it, until you actually talk to the person, you'll never you'll never know. You know, um, and some people expect closures in every relationship that they fall into. You don't need closure all the time. Um, sometimes closure, uh, no closure is closure. Um, it depends on how it ended, how you take it, you know, um, to be honest. And with the six of wands in reverse, um, you're still struggling. You're still struggling with the fact that, you know, the, the hurt and everything happened and, um, you're still dwelling over it and it's not easy it's not easy especially if you love and care for somebody it's not easy to to let go however sometimes when you do each irrational decisions when you're hurt if you really take time to reflect afterwards you realize all right maybe i should have never said that maybe i should have never did that and you know and it happens we're human we're human 
we get frustrated, we get mad, we get we're hurt and we're sad and we just feel the only way to have that person understand us is to actually let them feel how we felt. In our reality, we have what we're the outcome that we're expecting for them to understand where we're coming from. They end up walking away permanently, and that's where we struggle with. Is that it's like, damn, did I cause a tower moment as well? On top of a tower moment that was already hap- already happened previously, you know, it, it's 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 mind boggling. But I feel like I need one more card from the universe on this. Um, if not, we can get an overall message from the moonology. It's not easy. It's not easy at all to get over a breakup to acknowledge when you're wrong um it looks like some people struggle with when they know they're wrong and it's it's not it's not easy so i totally understand and dig where you know um things may have surfaced um after you done made a decision um that could have that you didn't know that was going to be a permanent afterwards you know um yeah like i said in two cards actually three cards oh cancer so this was so, so much card, but the first card that came up was, you know, um, the Three of Swords. You know, the Three of Swords, heartbroken. You know, you still you you you're heartbroken on how things ended in your relationship. Um, you know, you're you you know, you're disappointed on the outcome. Sometimes some people are disappointed in themselves, you or your person. You know, and how things ended. Um, and and it and it either was a third party, um, either you or your person involved somebody else that also you know um, made a dent more into the hurt. Um, listening to others tell you, yeah, I think you should leave the person, and then later on found out that all you had to do was give your relationship a chance and the person a chance. You know, it happens. Um, it happens. You know, and then the five of pentacles in reverse, you know, constantly dwelling. You feel alone, you know, um, you feel like when you first had got into the breakup, there was a lot of people in your corner. And then you realize that, you know, after a while, um, when the parade and they realize that your person's no longer coming back, they everybody starts going their separate ways. You know, and you're wondering, for real, did I really make a decision out of really how I really feel or I made it impulsively because I was angry? You know, and most people do that and and end up regretting the fact that they actually let their person go. Sleepless nights. Questioning, you know, questioning why did you, you know, um... Like, you, you feel frozen, the emperor. You don't, you don't feel as strongly as you did before when you were sure that you made a, a, the right decision. Now you feel like you're on hold and you're now got to face the decisions you made or your person. Let's see what the else the universe has like uh, any advice any advice you have for cancer any advice you have for cancer Let's any advice A new romantic cycle begins in reverse. So right now, unless you release what needs to be released, you won't be able to start a new cycle. Um, 
I don't see that you're looking into being in the next relationship because you're still feeling frustrated. Maybe there'll be sex involved, involved platonic relationships here and there, situationships here and there. But until you start releasing your ex or getting certain things resolved or talked about with um, that person, um, you know, some people are afraid to ask for forgiveness. Some people are afraid to admit when they're wrong and that's what sometimes um stops the relationship from evolving into something great if it was able to you know um patch up or you may just need to let that person know that i'm sorry or the person needs to let you know that they're sorry and but until you release what you're feeling a cycle a new cycle cannot begin a new cycle cannot begin so it's up to you, Cancer. It's up to you to make that decision if you want to reconcile with your person or you're going to, you know, most people do that and they stay stuck um, with their feeling of betrayed, hurt, or disappointed and don't take fault in their actions. That leads them to, you know, um, letting that person or letting a good thing go. So it's up to you, Cancer, or your person. Um, do I say that there'll never be a new cycle, a new beginning? No. There will be. But you have to release something. You have to heal from something. If not, you're, you're find another person and then do the same thing that happened in the last relationship. The same actions or the same responses will happen in the next relationship. So heal. If you're able to reconcile with your previous partner, do so. If not, um, try to heal. Try to take responsibility for your actions, even if that person doesn't know, but for yourself. Um, get more spiritual in tune with the universe and what's going on and, um, and learn to forgive yourself. You know, for the part that you played or part that you allowed to play in your relationship. Take it how it resonates. But that's all I have for you, um, Cancer. Definitely um, please like, share, comment, or subscribe to my channel. Be greatly appreciated. Until next time, peace.